Hey everybody, it's Todd Kazinka from Planet Hoops, www.hoophype.net, hoop-hype.net. Just going to uh, come to you today with a little uh, video screencast about uh, amazing play diagrammer and uh, animator from Sideline Sports, uh, from the XPS network you can see up here. It's included. Uh, it doesn't do just basketball. You can uh, you can do some amazing things. I'll I'll actually show you uh, right here, which is the uh, the main part of the XPS trainer. Uh, you can click on your settings, click on playbook, and there's an old playbook and a new one. The new one doesn't have all the uh, sports uh, fields in it yet, but wrestling, weightlifting, water polo, table tennis, swimming, skating. You can see all the sports there: lacrosse, martial arts. Uh, indoor bandy, one of my favorites, one of the good good old sports. And I have no idea what that is. Ice hockey. Um, so I'll, I'll I'll show you. I'm not going to show you all the other sports, but uh, suffice it to say, we're going to talk today about basketball. And uh, basketball is an amazing is an amazing program here. And you might have heard of uh, Fast Draw, which is out right now, which is really popular. Uh, I think this is much better from what I've seen. Fast Draw is very limited in 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 terms of colors and and uh, flexibility of of changing things, just options. Uh, and Fast Draw is obviously only for basketball. You can see right here uh, accessories, different little people there, and, and ladders and mats and cones. We've got all these other accessories here with cones and. Uh, step ladders and and uh, you know agility things that you would use for agility exercises. Uh, so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is uh, do a diagram, show you how easy it is, and then uh, show you how how many options that you have actually to customize it. Very customizable. If you ever have problems here uh, drawing diagrams, animate you know making animations, all of the tutorials are right here. You click on one. And it's going to go to a website and actually show you how to uh, show you a video on how to do that. Frequently asked questions right here. You just click. All the help is very easy. Um, so if I want to create a diagram animation from a template that you've already made, or you can open one of your previous ones, I'm going to create a new one. <coughs> Excuse me. It's as simple as clicking diagram. I'm going to call this one Planet Hoops Test. Okay. Click OK. All right. And here comes the uh, the frame up there nice basketball court you'll notice it's an NBA style court we can change this I'll show you how to do that in a second it's got the NBA three-point line the wide key from the NBA uh, now one thing that that you can do also here as I mentioned is do the zoom you can make it smaller bigger doesn't really lose the quality of the image if you click right there all right, it's going to show you all your options. You got FIBA courts. So if I wanted to do a FIBA full court, I just click that. Okay, make it smaller if I want. And you're going to be able to put courts along the side here, depending on how many columns you choose. So uh, I'm going to click that again. I'm going to go with NBA. I'm going to click half. It's a little bit, uh, I just like this one to use. Okay. And, and this one here, if you click that button, this shows you all the different tools you have, accessories. You can add to these as well, which is pretty cool. Just by clicking that button, for example, you click there, add, and it'll ask you, okay, make a new collection. Then you can make a new collection with all of these different things in there. We're not going to get into that right now, but this just gives you a little bit of an idea of how easy it is to customize everything. Okay. Very, very flexible. Very well done very easy to use so first thing I'm gonna do frame one you're gonna to click to add a description I'm gonna just call this uh, you know st not stage one but you can call it that I'm just gonna call it option one for now um, so here's our positions this little box here you, you click it and if you did that every number that you click no matter where you were on the court it would stay at number one if you just click that the next one every time it's called roll it's gonna to go to the next one in this uh, collection here so I'm gonna click eraser I'm gonna erase all these the other way you can erase everything is by uh, going here where are we here clear frame ok 
Okay, are you sure you want to clear the frame? Yes, everything gets cleared. So I'm going to make sure it's on roll. I'm going to click the one, and I'm going to just do a normal kind of setting here, just a normal offensive set that you might see, just for ease. Okay, I'm going to click this for the ball. The ball is going to start right there. And then I'm just going to click here for pass. Now what you do, you got settings down here. I can change the color to whatever I want. I'm going to keep it at blue. I'm going to I'm going to keep the line at 2. I'm going to show the tip of the line as well. So you just put it on the ball. Okay? Point it to wherever you want. You just drag it. I'm not even holding anything down and then I right click it to stop it. Very simple. Now if I did it on a person, that person's going to move in the next frame. Okay, so on this play, what else do I want to do? Well, I'm going to just say, uh, after that, I want this guy to go here to the corner. Right click it. I'm going to get five. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to get him to screen, but I, I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to erase that line there. I'm going to click on uh, right here. You can see screen. Five is going to screen. Again, this is a very basic play. Very simple concepts, but I'm just going to... Uh, actually use this okay there all right now two is going to have the ball next five is going to go over and screen three is going to be here one's going to be in the corner if i do this okay my next frame now is on the right with the players and the ball exactly where they should be okay so again you can you can call this option two or stage two or whatever you want whatever play it may be horns, fist, uh, one, two, two, whatever you call your plays, you can put that down there, right? And it's going to show frame one, frame two, frame three, as many as you want. Okay, so now what I want to do is uh, I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to may maybe make this a little bit smaller because I want to fit one more frame in there. I'm going to have four going across. and I'm, I'm going to do a little, he's going to go fake there and then he's going to come here and it's going to come across, right click. Okay, we're looking for that pass right there. Three, I want to go here and set a screen. Okay, now you see that's not looking like a screen. That's an arrow. Again, I made a mistake. Just erase it. Boom. Come back here. Click on that button. Every time you click the button, it does a curved path for you. Now I want one. He's going to go all the way to the corner there. Now, if, I, if, if I've got options here, I can go, okay, here, pass there. Actually, uh, that's the per, yeah, okay, we're going to go like that for now. Now, if I go like this, okay, you can see the ball is in there. One's over there, three setting that screen. Now this just shows the next frame. If I want to remove that frame because that well I made a mistake or I didn't like how that looks, I can easily do that by clicking here, remove frame. Make sure that the blue is around the frame. Are you sure you want to remove it? Yes. Okay, now if I want to go back here, say I'm going to get rid of this, I'm going to get rid of this. So what I want to do now instead is uh, I want to, well, actually what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add that frame. Okay, so you see three's here, two's got the ball. One's there, four's now there. I'm going to use this pick and roll a little bit. So I'm going to use the movement. Again, this is a dribble, curved dribble. Okay. Three, I'm going to get, I'm going to get the, the um, three to roll to the basket. Click this, see what happens next. Okay, you got the two with the ball right there, three is there, one there. Now, you wouldn't necessarily run this this type of play in a game where you have five and four standing right there and three there because obviously you got four players in a close here. I'm just using this to show you how simple it is. Uh, now, here's a great thing that I want to show you right now is if you want, again, you can make these bigger. If you want to take a, a better look at them, you just easily scroll right to left, left to right. Okay, just go down there, down there and scroll. Um, let's say I wanted to add some text in here. There's the T button. Okay, I just go like this. Here's my options down there. Switch to text box. 
switch to text sign. Okay, so let's say I want to uh, say um, pick and roll, right? Just click that. And then I'm going to place that. It's going to go right there. Now, if I want to change the font, it's unbelievable how many options we have. I can make it bold. I can make it bigger. I can change the color. Maybe I want it red instead. Okay. I don't like that red. There we go. I'm going to choose that, but I want to choose a different color. I'm going to choose maybe that. Click OK. Right, and then I'm going to do that. I'm going to erase this one here. And then the other thing is I can move this wherever I want. All right. Now, any time that you place your arrow, your cursor on one of these numbers, it, there's a blue little dot that shows that's the one that's highlighted. So you can move them anywhere you want throughout the animation. Now, another thing about color, which is cool, is you can click there and you can, uh, you can change your colors. You just click on the player. And everything changes it's so easy to use it's so customizable it, it's phenomenal now the other thing that I haven't done is I haven't put the defense in and that's so easy to do as well let's click there I'm gonna click x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 now if you want to change the color of those guys just to make it a little bit easier maybe you want to have them in red see it's beautiful so simple. Next great thing about this, okay? Um, again, you've got so many options up here that you look at PDF. Uh, if you've got questions, you can just click on that. Uh, you can print. You can print all of your collections. Uh, this will show you. Uh, again, I've already showed you that. So let's say I want to save this as a PDF. I'm going to call it uh, Planet Hoops, okay? I'm going to print two two columns only. Okay, include the description. Only show the play name on the first frame. You, you've got all these options here. Page setup. Okay, how do you want to do it? Size A4. I'm going to call it letter size because I'm in Canada. If I want to print it, portrait or landscape. Okay, I'm going to click OK. Planet hoops. Once you do that, it's going to ask you. Okay, planet hoops. Test. Where do you want to save it? Well. I'm going to save it on my uh, right here. Okay, click save. Now, if I want to open that up, I'm going to show you how good this looks. Just double click it. There's your uh, there's your playbook. Now, how good does that look? Now, Fast Draw. I'm not knocking Fast Draw. Fast Draw has got a great program. I don't think they have this kind of uh, flexibility and customize uh, customization. So one out of four, two out of four, three out of four, four out of four. You can make this for scouting, for your own playbook, whatever you want. Uh, uh, zone offense, zone defense, all of your man-to-man uh, -man offensive sets. Export as a playbook. And this is only the diagrams. This is not even animation. Fast Draw cannot do the animations. We actually have an animation tool where you do something similar, similar to this when you're making your plays up and the plays you can actually watch them as an animation and export them as a movie so that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this uh, if you want any plays animated or diagram please send me an email you can send that to uh, todd at hoophype.net todd at hoophype.net there's a hyphen in between the hoop and the hype uh, or you can send me a message here on youtube through my uh, youtube planet hoop uh, planet hoops page Again, thank you for watching. Please stay in touch. Send us your feedback, and we'll, we hope to hear from you. Thanks very much. Have a great day.